Hello and welcome to another YouTube video here on this channel. If you're new to the channel, here I review note-taking apps. I talk about productivity and review productivity app as well as talking about mental health and mindful productivity. So stick around for this video. Today we are taking a look at a new note-taking app. This is called Unilist, I think. And I've been playing a little bit around and testing out different things inside of the app. And it looks kind of interesting. I think there still uh, needs some work to be done before I would recommend this app for everyone. But the organization works with folders. So let's say I want a tasks folder, save and open. So this is my tasks inside of a folder. You can have different notes and you can have subfolders in your folders as well. Let's say I have tasks for tomorrow. So tomorrow is the 27th. So tasks for 2709. Let's try this to see how it works. And I am done with this. Then I can press done button and I can add i would like if just pressing enter here was enough instead of pressing the button but um, you have to press the button and you get your uh your note and inside of your note you have uh, ways to format the text it works with uh, some shortcuts as well so you could do a star or two stars and bold and this would make it bold. At least that's what it says in the user guide. But let's say I wanted to uh, take out the trash because that's the only task I seem to remember. Take out the trash. And can I add a due date? I can. Let's say the due date is tomorrow. And then you have a task. You can also change the text color. Uh, but you could write another task in here. Let's say I want to go for a run. Let's say I want to run five kilometers. That's way too much. Uh, let's see how this works. Uh, okay. All right. So it it isn't perfect as you can see, but I believe that it. <laughs> I didn't write tasks. Anyways, I believe that it can work for a lot of people. It is easy to use, but it isn't as intuitive as I wanted it to be. Uh, I like intuitive and easy to use apps. This is easy to use, but it isn't intuitive. Let's say I had project one. This is called project one. Again, we have to press because enter doesn't work. And I can add different notes inside of here and I could give this an icon as well that's quite nice this is trying to be sort of a new uh, notion and you get your uh, different notes whenever you give them a due date it seems like uh, due date test it seems like it pops up in the calendar let's try this um, let's say this project needs to be done by uh, Thursday 28 and you get the task so you could add uh, add uh, dates to your notes to make them resurface if you had a specific note for a specific day if you wanted something to, res to resurface you could actually do this I actually like this a lot uh, this is actually uh, quite nice uh, I also like the organization with projects and I could add a subfolder and I could have a subfolder for all of my projects. So let's say this is project one, um, save and open. And I could, can I move this easily? Yes, I can. So I could easily move this to my archives. Uh, I honestly think this could be a good app. Uh, I like the way it works. There is still some basic things that needs to be fixed. For example, there is only one setting you can change. You can uh, choose to start the week on Monday or not. 
there isn't anything else in the settings you can uh, change. This works for sharing as well, so you can share your different notes. I believe that this is quite a new app since I haven't heard of it at all, but I'm not sure. I don't know when it started, but honestly, it seems like an interesting app. There is still a lot of development that needs to be done. Uh, I would probably like to see my notes in sort of a grid system instead. Let's see if that's possible. Uh, what resources? I had a terrible migraine today, so my brain isn't where I want it to be. Resource says one. Uh, let's just write test to test this out. Uh, can I add another one? Test two. So the organization is a little bit unfamiliar, the way you can have folders. And you can actually add different things. So let's do resources too. Um, I've played a little bit around with this app. So this looks a lot better. I mean, it isn't the best note taking app I have tested out, but it does a fairly good job and with some minor user interface changes and a little bit more intuitive interface this could become a go-to note-taking app for a lot of people uh, i honestly think i like it it isn't perfect i would probably not recommend it yet i will be playing a little bit more around with it to see where how this works and how you could actually use the app but i love the grid interface i love seeing my notes as a grid so that's quite cool overall i would say that this is a good start for a note taking app uh, and i am excited to see this develop and this will probably be one of the apps i will be uh, keeping a close eye on to see how they develop i don't like the fact that it is a lot of white space here i would love if they could put anything here i know that you can add shortcuts to notes here so let's see how can i do that let's say i wanted to move my social media ideas add to shortcuts here we go so you could add a lot of shortcuts here but i would probably not need more than three to six shortcuts i think if you add too many there is no reason for why you should have shortcuts but honestly a good looking app and i'm excited to see it develop thank you for watching and i hope to see you again quite soon